Hello, it's Stu from Stu'sTech.com. On today's video, I have got the Netgear Nighthawk AX8 Wi-Fi 6 router. So this is the Netgear Nighthawk AX router. It's Wi-Fi 6. Now, this is probably the fourth router I think I have reviewed from Netgear. I've had quite a long affiliation with Netgear. I really, really appreciate it for you sending my products. Now, if you're looking for another router from Netgear, I have done the Netgear Nighthawk XR500 gaming router. I've also done the Nighthawk M1. That's a mobile router, that's gigabit router for mobile and I've also done the Netgear Orbi system, the mesh Orbi system which I actually have in my house right now which I'm a little bit reluctant to diff change from because I love that system, it's been great but we have to move on, this is the future, this is Wi-Fi 6. What's so special about Wi-Fi 6? Well, it, you can get gigabit Wi-Fi with this router, obviously you need to have gigabit um, internet package I sadly don't have that just yet, but it will be coming in the future, hopefully. So this will get me future-proofed for that. We're talking about 8K streaming here. We're talking about multiple 4K streaming. What the beauty of the Wi-Fi 6 compared to Wi-Fi 5 is that you can download on simultaneous devices, so maybe five or six devices all at once, faster. It really does make a big difference using Wi-Fi 6 than Wi-Fi 5. I'm going to try and test that out as best I can, possibly in a second video. In this video, it's just going to be unboxing and it's going to be telling you all about the product and getting it set up. So let's not waste any more time. Let's crack on with the unboxing. Now, this is not uh, a modem. This is literally just a router. So you still need to have your... ISP's modem, which you would then have to put on modem mode. That's important. If you've got an existing Wi-Fi system, you have to put your, your internet providers on modem mode. Oh, and here we are. Right, so what we've got here, we've got a quick start guide, which is great. And also you can get it through the app as well. So you can download the app, that will help you with it. And here is the main router. Put that to the side just for a second. We have got several plug attachments, which is great. I always love that with uh, Netgear. You always have the different attachments and you've got your huge power brick. And we've got an ethernet cable, which is great. Fantastic. And other things, anything else in the box. Oh yeah, oh yeah, like, we like it, we like this. Right, so it's telling me to Flip up and then push down. There we go. That was pretty straightforward. Don't need that. Um, your preset wireless settings. Got a little sticker here, so I can take that off. Ooh, wow! Ooh, wow! That is pretty attractive, isn't it? Space Age. Fantastic. We have got lots, I mean lots, in the back here. Uh, what we've got here is we've got an LD on and off. We've got a, is that a reset button. We've got two USB 3 ports so you can plug in your NAS, not a NAS drive, just any sort of hard drive to make it a NAS drive. So you've got two port services. Excellent USB ports are brilliant on routers. Then you've got counting one, two, three, four, five ports. And that's your main port. That's where your internet, uh, your Ethernet port from your network given router goes. Cannot spit that out. And you've got an, uh, an on and off button. Uh, around the side we've got absolutely nothing. So everything is at the front. Here we go. And uh, let's see, what else have we got? At the bottom, that is all your, your Wi-Fi passwords and things like that. You can also change all these things. Right at the front, we've got a Wi-Fi button. We've also got a WPS button and we've got all the lights for all the things that you've plugged in the back. Let's go around the right way here. So, wow, this is pretty cool. I must admit, this is really, really cool. Get it in short, get it in short. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up now. Oh, hello there. 
I've been sitting here uh, editing this video and then I realized that I could probably do with a bit of an intro into the next part. What I'm going to be doing, what you're going to be seeing is uh, the installation process from start and until finished. The only bit I've missed out is actually plugging in a con connector, an ethernet connector in the back of the router and plugging it into power. Uh, other than that, then it's the full process from start to finish. Now, anytime you see this, that is basically a lapse in time. Uh, it probably is maybe between 30 seconds to maybe five minutes. And that's just because I didn't want to see, I didn't want my video you watching dead air and it's very, very boring. But I just wanted to uh, let you know that. So it's quite a, a long, lengthy experience in reality, about 20 minutes, uh, but obviously I've shrunk it down uh, using the power of video editing. So I just wanted to let you know about that anyway crack on with the rest of the installation process. I'm going to go back on to editing this video. Okay, so I've set it all up and literally all it's a case of plugging it in and plugging an ethernet cable from router. You'll see just on the right hand side there, that's my main router from Virgin Media. Ethernet cable from that into the yellow port on your router. And then it's just a case of installing the app, which I've already done here. Uh, you need to create your own account, and I've already done that. I've already had an account previously. And now it's asking me if I want to install a new Netgear product, and I do. So, set your Wi-Fi system to receive powerful coverage throughout your home. Make your network more secure, and protect your Wi-Fi system. So basically, just tell me a little bit about it. And um, it's going to take 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so what are we looking for? It is a Wi-Fi router. Scan the QR code on your NetHawk device. Okay. Seems like a good idea. I now have to reboot my modem. So unplug your internet modem, remove and reinsert any back up batteries, plug your modem back in and wait for it to power on. That's simple enough. And now it's just a waiting game. So I'm just going to press next. Already done that. So I've already connected it up, done that. Please wait while your device fully powers on. This may take a few minutes. It gives you a little update of how you're going on. Focus, damn you. There we go. Okay, now it says uh, connecting to your router. If this takes more than a few minutes, return to your mobile device Wi-Fi settings and make sure that you're connected to the router's Wi-Fi network. The router isn't found. I'm not surprised the router isn't found because my router takes about 10 minutes to set up. So I probably will have to try again. Um, when I mean my router, my Virgin Media router. Right, it's now booted up. Uh, I have actually got Wi-Fi off of my main router. It still says, still having issues. You're currently connected to Netgear 33. Go to settings Wi-Fi and connect to Netgear 33. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm connected to that. Yeah, I'm connected to Network 33. So we're connecting to router again. Router is detected. Fantastic. Uh, all I did was I came out and uh, reconnected to the network and it seems to have worked. Personalize your settings. Uh, there we go. I'm just gonna stick to the original network key. I really don't care if you know it because I will be changing it. So I'm just gonna click on next and then I'm just gonna create a password. Just gonna turn on touch ID. And then I'm just gonna set up some security questions and it's just a case of following the, the information on the app. So there we go, I've now connected. Please wait one minute while we make sure that your mobile device is connected to Netgear 33. 
and now it's checking for new firmware. So surprise, surprise, we need a firmware update. So I'm gonna to have to do that now. Okay, it's now updated. And we're now connecting. Please wait another minute while we make sure that your mobile device is connected to Netgear 33. It's always a little bit tedious setting up a new router, but it is worth it in the end. So there we go, it looks like everything is up, up and running. Just tap the next button here. More waiting. <laughs> Right, so now we've got extended warranty and support, so I'm just going to say maybe later. And now we're installing Netgear Armor. Armor security on your router provides advanced cyber threat protection. And that's just the family circle, which is an added extra. So I'm going to say maybe later. And there we are. So let's now test our internet speed. And it looks like we're getting the full speed, which is excellent. Well, it says my internet speed is extremely fast, which is great. It's not gigabyte though. I wish I'd gigabyte. Right, so there we go. Okay, so I've been using this for some time now. I just wanna add that I didn't like the unboxing video, so um, I apologize for that. I'll try and put some better shots on screen or you may have already seen that already on the video. But do we like this router? Or is this router right for you? Now, first and foremost, this is obviously gives you uh, feature proof for gigabyte ethernet if indeed you do not have gigabyte ethernet. Um, if you do have gigabyte ethernet, then this will definitely come in handy. This is going to be a massive upgrade to the router that you'll get from your ISP. Regardless of what, what service you get, what speed you get, this is a massive upgrade to anything you'll get from your ISP. In fact, any router that you buy from Netgear is going to be a massive upgrade in terms of range, in terms of stability. Um, it really is. It's well worth getting an extra router if you can. Now, is this going to replace my Orbi mesh Wi-Fi system that I've currently got installed in my house? Then no, because you see, I've got it here. I haven't got it connected up. I used it for about a month, so I can tell you how reliable it is. And from that matter is, I never had to really look at it after that. It was... It, didn't disconnect once, very reliable. The speeds I got, considering I only got one router anywhere in the house, was very good. I get about 400 megabit. Uh, my current setup, I'm hoping to get the gigabyte set up very, very soon. And I found that connection-wise, uh, anything that was connected to it stayed connected to it and it wasn't dropping off at all. So I can confirm that I was very, very happy with this router in terms of it just being a router. That being said, I'm not going to, this isn't going to replace my Orbit because I would be replacing one router for four. I've, got, I've currently got four routers in my house. That's why I'm on Orbit system or a mesh Wi-Fi system. Wi-Fi system is so good uh, because you've, you've actually got a router pretty much in every room if you want. So why I would replace one router, uh, why would I replace four routers with one router is exactly, I'm not going to do that. So the big advantage that you have with this router over say what I've got right now is the ports and the ports are fantastic. You can't really argue with the ports. There's what, five ports on the back and there's also two uh, USB uh, 3.0 ports in the back. So effectively, you've got two NAS drives right there. Uh, so you can't really argue with that either. I don't have that on my Orbi system. That's one thing I wish it did actually have. So, I mean, I think that ticks every box of whether this router is for you. If you're looking to upgrade your router from your current uh, ISP router and you're looking to future-proof yourself in case uh, you will be getting gigabyte router uh, uh, speeds in the future, then yes, this is an excellent choice out for you to consider. No doubt about it. If um, And if you don't have or you never will get it, 
gigabit internet I'm talking about. And then again, this is another excellent choice because it will give you the option later on down the road if indeed you wish to, uh, if you ever get the opportunity to upgrade to gigabit uh, ethernet. The Wi-Fi 6 system is an upgrade from the Wi-Fi 5 system in the fact that you will get more connections from one router. Another reason why I would be sticking with my Orbi because I've got four routers which they, uh, they don't all have to connect onto one router. So that's another reason why I'm keeping the four because it will be split up. But if I had to have one router, I would definitely have this Wi-Fi 6 over the Wi-Fi 5 because you can get more connections onto the one router uh, that will download faster and they'll be more stable. That is the difference, main difference between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 in layman's terms, and that's what I've been led to believe. So I hope that helps anybody who's confused whether to go from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6 or are looking for uh, to future-proof themselves when it comes to gigabyte Ethernet or gigabyte Wi-Fi or gigabyte download speeds, whatever you want to talk about it, uh, it's gigabyte speeds at the end of the day. And again, a big thank you to Netgear for letting me have the opportunity to try this out. Hopefully I'll be getting more products. I really want to get my hands on the mesh Wi-Fi system, the Wi-Fi 6 mesh Wi-Fi system, and uh, compare it to the current Orbi mesh Wi-Fi system that I've got now, which is Wi-Fi 5 from Netgear. There you go. If you like this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you clicking on my video. It really does mean a lot. Bye-bye now.